Hello once again, it's your boy That's No Moon and we are back for another Galactic Challenge. This time we're on Coruscant and there's bonuses for Empire. Sounds nice and simple, everyone's got a decent Darth Vader. Uh, it should be dead dead easy, right? So in this video I'm going to show you how to get, I don't have Beskar Mando, so I'm going to show you how to get the best reward possible without it. Um, and also a very quick way to get the undersized feet as well to save you a whole load of time in uh, in game. First order of business though as always make sure to hit that like and subscribe thank you all very much um, for all the support the channel gets and um, and yeah if you do want to watch more Star Wars Galaxy Heroes videos go ahead and uh, and hit those buttons. So a few little things going on basically the reflective damage is going to be a huge issue especially for things like Vader's um, saber toss so use this very very sparingly is what i would say about this and more so um so the first run i'll show you is just with very very vanilla um empire basically so this was sort of a a, a very dry run at this and i'm going to go into merciless first oh yes that's it do not go in with Darth Vader as the leader because everyone assists, so it's going to be like pretty bad news for you and it's going to end your day. So go Palp lead and then go um, Vader in usually the second slot anyway. Thrawn there, so just very quickly in terms of speeds. So sometimes here, I think I got this dead on, my Vader was 268 speed and it was a toss up, like a coin flip between Padme and Darth Vader. So you'll see a couple of times here she goes and obviously with no escape, there's going to be plus eight speed for all of my Empire allies, but also for Jedi. So she's like super quick. Um, so yeah, there, 268, that'll get you out. So again, if you can get it quicker than 268, good like go for it that'll make your, your life a whole lot easier anyway so with this one um definitely want to start off with merciless however don't want to be doing um any saber throws anytime soon um we've got crit hit immunity out there at the moment just want to throw a round of ability blocks and this may come down to a little bit of rng as well after we come out of this because of um uh, because of palp stun etc now Nice and lucky there. Got a basic. Again, Padme may try and wreck one of your characters or go for Darth Vader. And again, restart the run there. Now, originally I thought IPD, well, I might get a quick easy kill because when the leader goes, the battle's over. Uh, no, it, it's not the case. So they, <laughs> they've definitely cheesed this or they've definitely prevented the cheese there. So we got a stun in there, which is pretty important. Uh, also, Anakin, when he goes um, for his AoE, uh, that can be a little bit problematic anyway as well because it will start adding a huge amount of stacks up there. But basically, I'm not going to be doing any saber throws. Um, the only time I really want to be doing any saber throws is when I've got this uh, the big AoE available as well so I can heal back up. There we go. So now I'm back up to full health. Um, it can't kill you basically, but again, just be aware of turn meters. Uh, didn't even realize I had crit hit immunity on there. Oh, dear, dear, dear. So now I'm in a bit of a sticky spot. Um, not the end of the run, <laughs> essentially. Uh, again, you're going to have to time it a little bit better than myself. So we'll throw that back over there. And what I found with this one, with the full Empire lineup, was take out the uh, the side tunes first. Now in the second one, I'll show you a much more optimal strategy, and that's using Death Trooper as well. But yeah, with this one, just being able to take out the side tunes, fracture down Padme. So that was the first run at this one. And uh, again, managed to get through it. But I felt that there was a slightly better way to uh, to also get through this. So we'll just finish up here, put in the fracture there. And this one should be coming to a wrap fairly shortly. So yeah, it shouldn't take you too long. Uh, I don't think. I think it will be... Uh, like relatively quickly compared to the last one that we had this one certainly is a whole lot easier um but yeah padme is absolutely stacked to, uh with health and protection so unfortunately there isn't a very easy way to like just go into merciless and just delete her um and also there would be no fun in that either so that was with vader at speed two six eight so had a little reshuffle with mods and if we're going in like undersize as well that'll be the third uh the third little snippet as well so the slightly easier way that i found it was with um death trooper so here we are gonna get a kill and then inflict death mark on padme 
and that works just as well that worked like a lot better than i actually thought um so same sort of strategy no saber tosses at all really uh got a little bit lucky there that she hit there ipd i do like to take away the um uh any bonuses etc just gives me a little bit of survivability um there i can throw the grenade i don't feel like padme's padme's going to cleanse anything or i'm in immediate danger of um like getting a huge amount of stacks so i think here want to carry on focusing down on anakin and just killing someone anakin seems to be like one of the squishiest anyway along with ahsoka tano um but obviously anakin you just want to get rid of him uh so nearly there with that one now we've got ipd and we've got death trooper as well death trooper is going to apply the death mark here and that's pretty much all she wrote in honesty and there we go so that was the easiest way that i found to get the empire feet like full five empire done on tier seven now the undersized um this is a little bit weird and unfortunately there's no easy way to undersize it even with supreme leader color red it's pretty sketchy actually um so i went in with triumphant going to isolate over on kenobi now these are treya's relic level two science relic level two and nihilus is relic level one it is just literally a race to get to annihilate on padme and that's why the isolate works so well uh, is because we don't have a taunt to contend with reducing cooldowns uh, again i'm going to put that on nihilus i want to get there to annihilate as quick as possible and um yeah can be a little bit like rng as well depending on the abilities that they use but this was the absolute easiest way that i could uh, undersize this battle and there we go so should be nice and easy for you today and fingers crossed you all get it done um let me know as well in the comments below how you got it done if there's a different way of doing it an easier way of doing it um because essentially we're all here to help each other out save a ton of time on uh, on these galactic challenges and also get the best loot out of it as well um i've been that so moon thank you very much and i'll see you all next time cheers guys